capitalism is a type of economic system. I say it's the type of economic system that allows more capital to be created. That's the important point, because people often don't realize that new wealth can be created. We can create resources that weren't there before, because we're created in God's image. You know, economists can look at, you know, look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average or the growth of an economy, and over the long run, free market capitalist economies grow. In other words, there's more total wealth available. But the economist, you know, how's the economist explain that? Well, Christian theology says God created the world, he created the entire universe, and he created human beings in his image. Well, I think it stands to reason that if we're in God's image, then in some ways we reflect the creativity of the creator. Now, of course, we don't call things into existence out of nothing, but we take the material world that God's given us. We till it and keep it, as Adam and Eve were commanded to do, and we transform it into new wealth. So we take sand, for instance, and create fiber optic cables and computer chips. That's what's exercising the fact that we're created in God's image and it's the capitalist economic system that best channels that creative capacity we have. And so it's frankly depressing to me that a lot of Christians don't understand that and think that capitalism is the problem rather than the solution to, to economic poverty.